Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. We're going to take a look at the rest of June for you, the overall energy, you, what's coming towards you, any obstacles, they're only going to be temporary, if so, and then who or what is coming towards you, any good stuff in Aries through Pisces, so like and subscribe and show me some love, let's go, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck that is basically covering this entire reading is the Four of Wands. Foundation, roots, building a legacy, uh, moving, home, commitment, a milestone in your life. Four of Wands is a major milestone. A birth, a reunion, marriage, commitment, buying a new home, new car, something, right? But it's a major milestone, and this is what's your overall energy for the next of June, all right? So the foundation of the next chapter of your life. I love saying that, just because. All right, it's a great way to a great way to start, building the foundation here, and it's solid. It's solid. So we could be talking about a reunion, commitment, home, coming together, family stuff, family matters, things like that as well. All right, so you... You have the Ten of Pentacles. Talk about marriage. Talk about this is your path, abundance, prosperity. Whatever you're working on right now, you're reaching a major milestone, and this is your legacy. This is all about building your legacy, the Ten of Pentacles. Prosperity, abundance, the whole shabam. All right. You know, and it's these are the cards. The cards speak for themselves. Your position, the Ten of Pentacles. Building wealth, building security, building a life. Build the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands is a major milestone. It can be marriage, having a reunion, meeting that one, moving in with that one, connecting with that one, building the foundation here, or you've been building the foundation because now we have the milestone, which is solid foundation for your Ten of Pentacles long term. So we are talking about the rest of your life here with that Ten of Pentacles. And you're, you're that close to it. All right. We have three of wands. Your ships, I mean, your, your conflict, obstacle. Five of wands, sorry, inner conflict, tension. All right. Fight through it. Fight through it right now. I'm going to bring up the, because... Because Scorpio, I'm Scorpio with you, all right? And Pluto is really big right now. And I'm not an astrologer, you know that, but I love astrology and bringing astrology into all this. Um, Pluto's going back into Capricorn. Pluto, we're ruled by it, all right? A lot of powerful change, a lot of good stuff, though. A lot of bringing up of suppressed and repressed energies for us. And that's the Five of Wands, the inner conflict. Finding common ground here. You're going back a little bit here with the Capricorn going um, retrograde, Pluto. It's just cleaning up, cleaning up a little bit of what's left of that whole time period when Pluto was in Capricorn. We got a taste of it in Aquarius. Things come into light. Seeing some of our manifestations come in. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute. Retrogrades say, take a look. Retrogrades say, take a look at how far you've come as well, too. This is not holding you back. And maybe you feel like it is with that five of wands, but five of wands is saying the obstacles is just don't stop fighting it. Don't stop being determined, but don't, you know, create any extra unnecessary frustration and tension. And don't pay attention to the external drama. Resist the urge to fight. Resist the urge to be a part of any kind of external drama. The Five of Wands is saying in the obstacle position is it's time to find common ground. So if you're faced with any conflict, can you find the common ground before you start coming in with your opposing views? Got to start with common ground in order to debate or to argue with somebody or to argue your point of view and also when it comes to inner conflict finding what what the root is finding what it is what keeps causing this conflict right that's the only thing and that's more of an internal thing 
So everything else looks really good. What you have coming towards you, I see King of Cups, all right? So that tells me a couple different things. One, you have a person of water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy, though, for you, all right? So this is emotional mastery. So I am going to go down that path for a second here. This is about you're battling some repressed emotions here, the Five of Wands. That's what's going on for you. It's not external. I'm clarifying that now because I'm feeling it. It's not external because your external world is the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Your external world, your 3D reality is materializing. You're prosperous and abundant and you have all this absolute amazing energy here with the Ten of Pentacles. You hit the jackpot. Five of Wands is repressed energy that you may be trying to hold down, right? And it's holding you back from emotional mastery, your next level up. And so you, it's going to be a, um, the next couple of weeks is going to be for you. The rest of June is going to be for you releasing repressed emotions, getting to the bottom. So when it comes to water energy with us Scorpios, we got to go do the body work. We got to go do the healing work, do the meditation. All right. And get into those wounds that in those inner wounds and let them come up. Let that anger, let that frustration, let whatever's going on come up so that you can release it and evolve here into the King of Cups. I do see a person of water, very deep connection coming towards you. And this is what you're battling is this, these repressed emotions. So releasing this and working with this over the, ne the rest of June and moving forward, even if this moves into July. But moving through this, is deepening your connection with another partner here. All right. What else is coming towards you with Spirit wants you to know is the lover's card. We see romance, a love affair, true divine love. All right. It's the law of attraction though too. So going back to what you're repressing could be holding you back from, from uh, this coming in, but it's still going to come in for you. So we do see another six here. We see balance coming in with love. Could be reconciliation with the lover's card, with a Gemini or a Cancer Pisces or the Scorpio. You see a love affair, a love. It's my favorite card, especially, I'm sure it is yours too. The lover's card is talking about attracting that soul divine partner in. But you have a choice to make and you may be holding it back with this inner conflict. So you've got to do the work to get to whatever this is. It's part of... The Scorpio thing, you know, you've got to transform. Because everything on your external reality is showing up for you. And there's, you can't blame it on anything on the outside. It's all happening for you. Major milestone. And to me, it's just inner conflict. All right, look at the outcome. End of June, Ten of Cups. You've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the Lover's Card. You have a blessing, a relationship, a family, a partnership. And you even see the sun there, marriage in this tree, the tree of life. Coming together with your partner, Lover's Card. And it could be for some of you a love affair that's deepening into something more with that Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, a milestone. But we have to do the healing work and be whole before this happens. And if you're obsessing over anything or you're, you're dealing with things behind the, behind the scenes or beneath the surface, that's going to cause conflict in this relationship. You have a major milestone coming in. These are your cups. That's all I have to say. I mean, your cards. The Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. All right. Deal with your repressed emotions. My stomach just growled when I said that. Anything else Spirit wants you to know, we got the Page of Cups. Open up your heart and be ready to receive. Messages of love coming in. Communication. Somebody opening up an offer coming in for you. Be ready to receive this offer. I'm not seeing the devil, so I'm not looking at the lover's card as if this is a cheating or a third party or anything like that. Not with these other cards here. These other cards are saying that this is it. This is a milestone. This is a commitment, a long-term commitment with that Ten of Pentacles because that is what you are looking for. All right, so let's see 
What are the goodies coming in for my Scorpios? It could be a Gemini. It could be obviously a water energy. It could even be an earth energy with that 10 of pentacles or somebody who's very grounded, very, very stable. All right. Announcement coming in for you. You're going to hear some news announcement, uh, a bell notification, a path with money is waiting for you to find it, the 10 of pentacles. So you are opening up to that. So there could be some sort of announcement around um, a, an offer with money, job, um, I just want to see the bell. I think of YouTube. All right. Time to go out and have fun. All right. The grapes energy as well. That might be where you're meeting your person. And look at this. The tower in this deck. Solid foundation. Success with effort. To stamp everything I just said. Major move movement in your life. It's time to rebuild. The tower moment is like you've already, everything's already cleared its way. Everything's already formulating for you. Stepping into this path. Um... There's so much success um, on the horizon here. Go out and have some fun. Let's get one more of these cards for you, and then I'll do Aries through Pisces. I have a child. So there could be a child involved for some of you. I'm also seeing inner child, stubborn. So this could be the five of wands suppressed energy. Something about a child. All right, but I'm also seeing time to play, your demand and intent, attention. Uh, and I'm also seeing love to learn, imagination, delights in simple things. So it's really tapping into your inner child. And also this inner conflict is talking about maybe some wounds that need to come up that it only to just acknowledging them, accepting them and moving forward. I do get a water carrier here. So I see humanitarians. All right, generosity, nobility, balance, calm life coming in for you. Some of you are a water carrier, Aquarius energy. I see communication, unselfish, and alleviate and suffering. And so a lot of us Scorpios are going through a lot of these transformations because we are doing this for the greater good and care for others. All right, so remember that as you're walking your path to call in a soulmate, divine partner, and learn how to manifest and um, tapping into faith and spirituality, you're doing that for the greater good. All your experience in and all your healing work is you, we heal others by healing ourselves. All right, so let's see Aries through Pisces. All right, so for some of you, I'm getting, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings, all right, Scorpio? So I do see a peace offer in here, white, you know, white flag, whatever, uh, somebody wanting to call truces, right? I am, your silence felt safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again for some of you as well, too. So let's see Aries through Pisces. Aries, I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Taurus, it's easier being with someone from my own world. Gemini, I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. Cancer, the distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Leo, I see you in the face of strangers. You're always with me. Virgo, can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me with your heart? Libra, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. Scorpio, being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it'd be this difficult. Sagittarius, I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Capricorn, I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. Aquarius, we were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. And Pisces, I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. And for some of you, I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Scorpio, that's one of the best readings I've had for you in a long time. Um, and uh, I just, I hope you enjoyed this reading. So I love you guys and take care.